script. In the last tutorial, we worked with an AND logical operator and we worked with the concept of range. In this tutorial, we will going to continue to work with the AND operator. However, we're not going to work with the concept of range. Rather, we're going to work with different variables, one on each side of the AND operation. So in this example, we would like to declare a variable called H. And we would like to declare a variable called gender. Now, if age is greater than equals to 65 and gender is equal equals to M, then document right. Please fill out. Form A. Else, if age is greater than or equals to 65 and gender is equals to F, please fill out Form B. Otherwise, fill out Form D. So if age is greater than or equals to 55 and gender is equals to M, if both of these conditions are met, only then form A fill out message will be displayed. If age is greater than or equals to 65 but gender is F, then form B. Otherwise, form D for everybody else. So now we're going to run this program. And since we have the values of greater than or equals to 65 and gender to a value of M. Therefore, now you can see it says fill out form A. If I change this to a letter F, now notice fill out form B. If I change the age to a value that is less than 65, then it says please fill out form D because and requires both conditions to be true. Even though one of the two conditions is true, but the other one is false, so and will be false. However, if I make one slight change over here, I increase the age back to 66, for example, and I change the gender to an uppercase F. It still says, please fill out form D, D as in David, because the character data in JavaScript is case sensitive. So the uppercase F is not the same as the lowercase F because of their ASCII values behind the scene. As you know, the ASCII value of an uppercase A is 65 and that of a lowercase A is 97. That's why passwords are case sensitive and they ask you to use upper and lowercase combinations because they can differentiate by the ASCII values behind the scene. Now to fix this, what I would like you to do, what I would like to do is, I would like to introduce more than one conditions inside the gender. So this is how we have parentheses that on the right hand side the condition is multi-conditioned and on the left hand side the condition is a single condition. So what I want to do on the right hand side is if gender is equal to a lowercase m or gender is equals to an uppercase m. So or is used for notifying either of the two and I'll use the same concept in the letter F. If the gender is lowercase f or the gender is an uppercase f. So now with the use of parentheses I can force the OR operation to be evaluated first because since AND operation is of a higher precedence than an OR operation if I do not put the two genders in the parentheses then it will go to first and the age 65 and the gender lowercase m. And the final result of that will be ORed with a gender uppercase m. And same thing will happen on line 11. Therefore, usage of parentheses is extremely important here. So now after using parentheses, it will going to evaluate the right hand side. We'll hold on to the result. We're going to evaluate the left-hand side. We'll hold on to the result and we're going to then evaluate the results from two sides. But out of the two conditions, the left will be evaluated first because it has the parentheses on it. So in this case, the OR 
is used between the two so that one of the two is picked. So sort of kind of thought I will um, not only try to use and but also try to use or and also teach you how to use multiple conditions in just one example. So now we're going to run this example again and now as I refresh it notice it says please fill out form B because the age is greater than 65, 65 greater, than or, greater than or equals to 65, and the gender is equals to an uppercase F, so that matches the condition from line number 11. So that's how you can be using the conditional statements. In the next example, we will going to move on to another conditional structure called the switch case, and then we will going to move on to the loops. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Have a good day.